Hi, this is Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management, and in this video I'm going to give an overview of the Adobe Analytics Spring 2016 release. The Spring 2016 release is available as of April 21, 2016, and is available to all Adobe Analytics solution owners. The features in this release include Activity Map, Virtual Report Suites, Scheduled and Downloadable Projects, Marketing Cloud Audiences in Analytics, which is a public beta, and Simplified Marketing Cloud Navigation. I'll now walk through each of these features and give a link that you can use to watch a video about each of them. Activity Map is a new browser plugin that visualizes user activity data directly over the top of your website. This means you can go out to any page on your website, launch this plugin, and view data directly in context. To help you, we've added features like segmentation, which allows you to see how different audiences engage with your content differently, as well as any metric that's available to you in Adobe Analytics. You can view click data in real time, as well as user path data directly in context to show how people got to a page and where they went afterward. The, uh, the Activity Map plugin is available for Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Safari. And the plugin, at when implemented, supports modern web technologies like responsive design, SPAs, including AngularJS, dynamic content, and more. Virtual Report Suites is a new feature that allows admins in your organization to create segmented views of your data that function as regular report suites. As you can see in the example on the right, I might have all of my data from all of my websites flowing into a single global report suite, and I may want to break that out into separate views that I can share with different members of my organization who have different needs around data. Virtual Report Suites allows me to give these users a persistent view that they can come back to over and over again and that represents the entirety of the view of data that they will have available to them in Adobe Analytics. These virtual report suites are instantly re retroactive and editable. This means that if an admin in my company creates a virtual report suite and I as a user access that virtual report suite, I will have data in that virtual report suite going all the way back to the beginning of my, my Adobe Analytics implementation or as far back as my Site Catalyst 15 upgrade if I've been an Adobe Analytics customer for a long time. There's no limit on the number of virtual, virtual report suites that your admins can create, uh, and they can use these to control permissions around data and make sure that users in your organization are only seeing the data that's relevant to them at all times. Scheduled and downloadable projects in Analysis Workspace allows you to more easily distribute and democratize the data that's available to you in Analysis Workspace in Adobe Analytics. It's been the number one most requested feature in Analysis Workspace since we released Analysis Workspace late in 2015 and includes the ability to both schedule and download stunning, beautiful PDF versions of the projects that you've created in Analysis Workspace. Marketing Cloud Audiences in Analytics brings the power of Adobe Audience Manager directly into Adobe Analytics. The segments that you've created in Audience Manager can be brought over into Adobe Analytics as a dimension, which allows you both to report on the behaviors of these various segments and create additional segments in Adobe Analytics that rely on Marketing Cloud or Audience Manager segments as their basis. Essentially, this puts the power of the rich profile data in Adobe Audience Manager directly in Adobe Analytics for you to use and combine with behavioral data that you're already collecting. Simplified Marketing Cloud Navigation is a new way of moving around both Adobe Marketing Cloud and Adobe Analytics. Within Adobe Analytics, you'll notice that it's faster and easier to move back and forth between Analysis Workspace, Reports and Analytics, the various components like segments and metrics that I might be defining, as well as the other tools like Ad Hoc Analysis and Data Warehouse inside of Adobe Analytics. If I'm logged in through Adobe Marketing Cloud, I can also move seamlessly between Adobe Marketing Cloud solutions like Adobe Target, 
Adobe Social, Adobe Experience Manager, and Adobe Campaign, all without having to go into another login or go up to a different user interface. This new navigation also includes an improved notification system for all Marketing Cloud solutions, allowing me to stay up to date on whatever's happening across the entire Adobe Marketing Cloud implementation for my organization. We hope you enjoy the Spring 2016 release of Adobe Analytics. We're very excited to get these features into your hands. Please contact your account teams or consulting uh, consultants at Adobe if you have any questions about any of these features.